you, you wake up one morning and you, you turn on your phone and there are only two apps, the red app and the blue app. You would be disappointed with that operating system, which I call DOS, funnily enough, the democratic operating system. The idea there is to show how outdated it is. And yet that is the system in which we are forced to live. If not forced, the costs of exiting the system are inordinately high. We have to work in some sense within what's left of the evolutionary fitness landscape to try to experiment with other structures. And yet that external set of patterns, forces, and so on is going to in affect and infect the systems that we're experimenting with. Tough shit, excuse my mouth, but that is the reality we have to live in. There is going to be no constitutional moment where we can all go, okay, let's get together and have one great big convention and figure out what we're going to do like they did in 1787 through 1789 with the Constitutional Convention. Now King George III, as it were, is sitting on our heads right here, right now. And we're not dealing with red-coated dandies that come from an ocean away. We're dealing with our friends and neighbors, and we're headed towards civil war, as far as I can tell, at least if every time I look at Twitter. <laughs> so in thinking about operating within the design space, we've got to acknowledge that reality and start to lower the costs of exiting the old system, lowering the costs of entering the new system, and those fragile new systems not be steamrolled over by the old order and by old mental patterns. That's going to be really hard to do. The efforts that you guys are undertaking right now as independents, it's going to be really hard to self-organize these systems with all of this swimming around us. And yet, that is also the problems and pathologies of those systems, what is going to prompt movement of people into your new systems, fragile and hypothetical as they are right now.